Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Daily Challenge. My name is Bear. Something I'm just being told. You can apparently see which character you are just by looking up at the top right. We're gonna be Judas today. Let's go. I did not know that. I'm surprised it took me that long to figure it out, but we are Judas. Curse of the Blind to start with, and it looks like we're going to... What is that? Is that the... It looks like a uh, high heel. I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen this before. I have no idea where we're going. That's... That's the bottom line. So I did something I don't normally do today. Before the daily challenge. I had a practice run. Yeah, I know. It's hard to believe, right? Bear, you just jump into these blind with no... With no practice beforehand? Are you mad? Do you want us to mock you? Yes. Yes, I do. I ended up getting through to, uh, like, Catacombs 2 in something crazy like six or seven minutes. I even knew I was Judas, so I was practicing as Judas. It was a crazy fast run. I, I had something like Daddy Long Legs and a couple of damage upgrades right out of the gate. Those runs are so satisfying, too, when you're just flying through everything. But they're not gonna happen every time, right? Sometimes you'll get Key Bomb in the first room. Which is probably not good. In fact, I probably shouldn't have taken him because <laughs> I really need my keys early on. Oh, this might be a problem. We'll see. Pain to start off with probably won't be that big of a deal. Book of Belial. Another thing I thought was uh, true. The changes that I thought had been made in Afterbirth were that Book of Belial had been nerfed to some extent. But I guess that's not the case either. I think Book of Belial still... I don't think it guarantees your deal with the Devil Chance anymore, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't hamper it either. And that was what I was being led to believe by my dumb, dumb brain. That's not the case, though. Ooh, I would like to be able to fly. That would be nice. Gemini, I believe, for the conjoined twin effect. It's either Gemini or Pisces. Those two always confuse me. Okay, start, though. I mean, Placenta, obviously, with the health regeneration for Judas could be pretty useful if we end up getting a couple more Red Heart containers, especially. Book of Belial, though, again, it's still, it still makes Judas viable, which is kind of the only thing that does it. He's got pretty decent starting damage, I suppose, so that he does, he does have that going for him, but apart from that, it's tough to... It's tough to sell a character that only starts with one health that isn't the Lost, who is already a pretty tough sell to begin with. I think I'm okay with Judas in the grand scheme of things, though. Do we need to go? We need one key, which we still don't have. This is kind of a bummer. Damn. Should I go play the arcade, maybe? That would be, like, the only thing I could think of to try to make this situation better. Perhaps popping all these fires, too. There was nothing in here, right? There was just, yeah, just a bunch of skulls. Damn. Well, I mean, the curse room seems okay. Or was that a trap room? I think that might have been a trap room, actually. Yeah, it's a trap room, damn. Oh, jeez, this is not looking too hot. I am not entirely excited about this. Let's maybe try for the fires, I guess. Let's let's go for the first two. See how we bode. Okay, it's showing me something. It's showing me a sign of life. I think maybe I gotta keep going with this. I go for the very safe shots here. I just want to make sure I'm not taking any silly damage from these fires. Although, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Since we do have the half red heart just sitting there. All right, no dice. It's a big time waster. Well done. <laughs> Let's just go fight the boss, I guess. Hope for a deal with the devil, right? Maybe that's what's gonna save this run really early on. Just an amazing deal. We'll get ourselves like a nine lives and the pact. And Abaddon. How about that? <laughs> give, me, give me that one, please. One that devil deal, por favor. Could make that happen, okay. I think he's not bad. Shrinks us down, gives us a spirit heart. What are we getting here? That's pretty good. That's the flying I was looking for. We can get both of these, too. Okay, that's... That makes me very happy. This is an acceptable outcome. We're gonna have five health coming out of here with flying, which means we get to go down here, obviously, and grab the Gemini slash Pisces. Pretty sure it's Gemini, though. And we get a bomb out of that, too. Yeah, buddy, okay. Much better result. Now, it is kind of tempting to go into the arcade as well, just be- Oh my god, yeah, we gotta check this out too. Back to the Devil Deal room, okay. 
And two troll bombs. Wow, that's a little bit worse. <laughs> a little bit worse than the deal with the devil. Still worth checking, though. This got turned around really quick. Yeah, the flying is going to be huge for us. Gemini provides a lot of early damage. It's just a little conjoined thing, but you know, anything that can provide consistent damage without me having to do much to uh, make it happen, I consider a pretty sizable advantage. Key Beggar, however, I'm still looking at with Resent and Disgust. I'm going to try this out. Oh, that worked out okay. Look at this. May not play anything, but we do get to waste a bomb thinking that I get to blow up everything at once, which is not going to happen, but maybe this will work. There we go. Oh my god, yes. Yes! Beautiful! And we get the item room. What do we got? Ludovico. Yeah, baby. No, I'm lying. It's tech. Fuck! I keep... Oh, how do I not know that by now? Maybe it's just because I never see technology. I swear technology is really rare in my runs. That, that sentence has a dual meaning, doesn't it? Technology is very rare in my runs. When I have diarrhea, it's rare to see advanced technology within it. That should be a good thing, right? I should be happy about that. Honey, there's no iPhone in my shit this morning! Well, that's fantastic. Pandora's box contains a... Uh, oh, it's a health upgrade, okay. That probably makes this trip worth. Technology is good, though. I don't mean to uh, not sound excited by technology. Again, speaking in general terms of technology for the greater good of humanity. And not necessarily having to do with my Isaac run. You son of a bitch, Key Bum! Oh, God, why did I take you? I needed that. Those are very rare for us right now, buddy. I swear you'll have plenty to choose from when we get down to the womb, but for now I need you to just chill out. Chill out and let us have these ones, okay? In fact, go back home. If you could. Can I put you back on the pedestal? That should be an option. Where's that option in Afterbirth, Edmund? Come on. No, 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 no! Oh! You sneaky piece of shit! Trying to take all our goodies. Man. I need at least one. Or maybe even gonna go to the shop with this and then hope that we can find a key inside of there to go to the item room. But then again... The item room is right here, and I should probably go in there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, we get both. Have our cake and eat it, too. We get anemic for all of our troubles, which is undesirable. Okay, here we go. Also not that great looking of a result. Son of a bitch. No, not even a key to buy. That's a big bummer. Oh, well, I think we'll be okay. The hollow especially shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, problem solved. And Mr. Dolly as well. Okay, I guess we're going, yep. A little bit quicker this time. This is starting to feel a lot like my previous Judas run, actually. This is about the pace that I'd set for myself. We had that slightly slower level uh, to grab our super special gizmos. I didn't realize the tears up actually made a significant difference on technology now, too. That is huge! Oh, and Burnt Penny as well is actually providing us a pretty big advantage here. You gotta love them bombs! I should be singing the praises of these items a lot more. How I love you, ceremonial robes and Lord of the Pit. It was a beautiful day. We all decided to tag team this here daily challenge. What am I looking for to make this stronger at the moment? Obviously some damage ups would do nicely. Don't really need that much more mobility. I think we're going pretty damn quick here. And the flying, of course, is going to get us out of most situations. My god, the abundance of bombs now, too, is pretty terrific. We're getting some easy boss fights as well. This is definitely looking like boss rush slash hush potential here. So long as we get a little bit more help. Like, this will... I think we'll be able to kill both. I think we'll be able to get through both the boss rush and the hush with, with just this build. That's totally useless, so I'm not even going to take it. Um, but... I'd certainly like a little bit more of an advantage. Let's go see if we can... We probably need to start looking for some secret rooms, actually, because that's going to be... Bombs are going to be by far the most abundant resource, and I shouldn't be shirking away 
from utilizing those. That is a great trinket pickup as well. Now that I've got a surplus of bombs, I think I should probably just go ahead and roll with this. That takes care of my key bum problem, too. Key bum problem. See, it rhymes so well, it's obviously true. He's just not a good guy. Probably has about the same frequency of payout as the freaking, uh... Key beggar, too, doesn't he? Which is not good at all. So I imagine I'm gonna be passing up on this guy for the future. Oh! Alright, let me go grab that... <laughs> <laughs> go grab that burnt penny and immediately eat my words son of a bitch golden horseshoe what does that do for me oh my god the health upgrades this is what Judas needs I'm happy about it sharp plug too huh mm, no I don't think I want to buy it I don't think I want any of this actually yeah we're good Pass up on that. I'll take Burton Penny just because I know what this is and I know that I need the help. And I don't- I don't know, man. I feel like I won't ever really be able to organically figure out what most trinkets do, simply because most of them have such an insignificant impact on the game itself that it's like... You could easily go through an entire run with five or six trinkets that you would never discover the meanings or purposes of. Well, let's go in here. Uh, yeah, we got enough money to probably do this. I think it's worth it. We're losing points every time we give him a penny, unfortunately, but I think at the end of the day, it's probably gonna be worth it if we find something good, but sadly, that is not really it. I think I'll try it for one pill. I know I'm losing out on points here. Relax. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Not really what we're looking for. That's a nice, easy room, though. I am going for these room exploration bonuses simply because I know I'm probably going to have to make up the points elsewhere when I've given myself a lot of chances to screw it all up. I have an idea of where these secret rooms would be too. In fact, I'm probably going to go ahead and check these two locations. Probably right here. Actually, this one's definitely not going to be it. That was a that was a mistake. I should have known that because there is a... Uh, if you didn't know, FYI, I believe the uh, parameters, or at least some of the parameters to a secret room... Include that it must be accessible from every side. So if you... it Well, you know, obviously we're flying so we can get anywhere. But I'm talking about when you are uh, starting out when you can't fly. If you can't fly and you can access the secret room from every side that has a room adjacent to it, then I believe that is, you know, an indication that that's where it might be. And the inverse, of course, if you can't access it, then that's a good way to rule it out. The more you know! Kind of. Poorly explained by a guy who doesn't quite understand it. <laughs> it's like you heard it from a friend of a friend, and they're like, Yeah, you know, this is probably how it is, but you, sh you should ask them, because I don't know for sure. Them being the internet. Ooh, there we go. Oh, wait, I have zero bombs. Oh my god, that... That became a problem really quickly. And now we're getting all these goddamn keys, of course! Now it's time to let Key Bomb grab keys so we can turn them into bombs because that's the way that Rebirth works. This is looking pretty good now, though. All of a sudden, we've got a, uh, a stronger looking thing going. More health, more keys. I should let him pick those up now, yeah. I'm thinking 19 is probably going to be okay for the future. There's another bomb. Good, good, good. Okay. Now I'm not worried about anything. I think we'll be fine. Now we're just looking for the good items. Looking to get through this relatively quickly just to be able to guarantee that boss rush and hush opportunity. There's a bomb for me. Okay. Here we go. I know, I know of your people, Brownie. See, I pop the relax pill as soon as the Brownie fight starts and that way he, uh, he recognizes my peace offering. He sees that I am simply a Judas confused wishing I could be become one with my people the giant poops I'm gonna take that probably not necessary but whatever uh, we haven't found our item room yet so I should probably go look for that too probably not gonna be a secret room right there it's accessible here but it's only surrounded by two rooms that's another thing usually ends up being surrounded by Three, if not four. 
boy, there we go. Yeah, that's the damage I was expecting. Just a matter of time. I don't know if the practice runs have been hindering or hurting me. That's the thing. That's why I'm always so hesitant to do them, because I, get, I always psych myself out afterward. I say, man, if I hadn't done a goddamn practice run, I wouldn't have become so... so confident and cocky. Then I would have looked out for that one tear that did me in. I sound like a former college football player. I sound like Uncle Rico in particular. That's a reference we all still understand, right? Everybody saw Napoleon Dynamite when he came out in theaters. We didn't like to admit that we did, but we did. And if you didn't, you might be a little bit younger. But that's weird to think, because Napoleon Dynamite came out in like 2006. <laughs> So it's really not that long ago that that happened. This was probably worth it. You were fought, yeah. Okay. And check this too. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't even want to open one red chest. I think I'd rather just ignore it. No, I should probably check it. What if it's nine lives, right? What if it's nine lives? We just gotta give it a chance. Petrified poop, no thank you. I don't need those things anymore. We got contract from below as well, so we should be fine. Two pills, what do we get? Bombs are key again. Probably not worth popping this time. And infested. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna go ahead and say not worth on that one. I know it's a rarity for me, but... That's just how I feel. It's just the honest to God truth about the situation. Well, that didn't really go so hot. Plus, I'm kind of, uh, worried about time now. We got five minutes to go through Death's 1, or Necropolis 2, whatever it ends up being. I think we'll be okay. Let's do it. 4.52. The speed run begins. Death's 2. Check the vault first. We got a surplus of keys here. Okay, that's pretty damn good. That's even better! All of a sudden, everything looks great, except apparently Ahead of the Keeper does not work with technology, so that's a little sad. I was hoping for, you know, miniature penny tears or something like that, but apparently not gonna happen. Steven for the damage up as well is pretty terrific. I'm really happy to be able to deal with these guys very simply. They usually end up being a pain in the ass, but... Technology trumps them. And not like the Donald Trump way, where they make you feel bad about yourself and then... Later on, you're like, well, you know what, I feel, I feel like I kind of like the guy. Even though I obviously shouldn't. But I can't stop it. He holds this power over me. Then your brain explodes. You know, that's how, that's how that works. I won't talk about Donald Trump anymore, though. Ever. That's my guarantee. If you ever hear me saying anything about Donald Trump, you remind me. That 18 minutes and 20 seconds into the November 19th, 2015 Isaac Afterbirth Daily Challenge video, I made a promise that I intend to keep. Don't you let me back out of that, guys. I need your help to keep me to keep me truthful. This is looking a little bit better, although I still could love some or I would still love some damage. Just all the damage. All the damage in the world. See, like, I, I feel a little more confident about it, and then I fight Champion Chubb, and I realize that we're really not hitting for that much when we do. And it may not seem like it's that big of a deal, and it's probably not. I bet we could win with this. But the confidence of being able to shred through most enemies is... totes worth it. I didn't see- I did not see this, by the way. I got you. I, okay, yeah, there we go! I have been rewarded for my complaining far too much today, I feel. <laughs> That's setting a bad precedent for me in the future, game. Don't make me feel like all I gotta do is bitch and whine about my situation to be able to improve it. It does not work. I love that Gemini's hold our, holding our mystery sack. I didn't notice that till just now. That's pretty great. We're going pretty slowly through this, too, and we still got plenty of time, so I think my fears were, uh, were unwarranted. Oh god, but we're getting terrible items from that guy. Multi-dimensional baby, does that do anything with... 
It does! Okay, well that's pretty good then. We can certainly use that. That's gonna make the Isaac and Blue Baby fights potentially a lot better, assuming we're going there. Again, still have no idea where we're actually trying to go here. Still a mystery. Alright, no problem. Let's do it. Two minutes! Can we kill the mother? In two minutes, only time will tell. Let's try to actually set this baby up right here. See if we can't, uh... Pop her for a bunch of damage. Assuming she eventually... Shows her ugly mug. Damn it! I don't know if this is gonna work out. Okay, let's just try to kill her in the normal way, because I'm running... Kinda low on time now. I was hoping to just abuse multi-dimensional baby, but this is a lot faster anyway! I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Apparently, this is the end! Oh, okay. Huh. That's the whole thing? Let's- we're gonna obviously do boss rush. A quarter and homing bombs. Wow, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, that's helpful. I probably should have just taken the quarter just for the points. Yeah, I bet that would have been the better play. Homing bombs is kind of okay though. I mean, it's not useless. Alright, well. This appears to be the, uh, the end of things. Of course, it's not a guarantee that we make it through the boss rush in one piece, but... I'll be honest, I think my chances are pretty high. Multi-dimensional Baby 2 is gonna make a pretty big difference here, as long as I can... ...utilize him effectively, and I think by doing this, actually, this is gonna be... ...the best way to go about it. What I ought to do is bomb through here... ...clear all that out, and that way I should be able to just shoot from this end... All the way across on both spawns of the bosses, and that's gonna be big. So long as I can position multi-dimensional baby in time. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna be big damage. Big damage! Kill the fatty! Nice! Damn! He's down, okay. Oh no, he's not quite down. Hold on, hold on. We got a little more. A little bit more. There it is. That's what we're looking for. Okay, good start. Yeah, that's big damage to begin with, with multi-dimensional. Sweet. Man, I wish I could take this down further. This is just... asking to melt through Isaac's health bar. I am so... so, so sad... that I apparently will not be able to see that happen. What a cruel world we live in. Where we are robbed of that pleasure. Oh well. I kinda wanna hold on to the hero font card. J-I-C. I feel like I might be able to uh, weasel my way into playing a little deeper into this run. Imagine we got the shovel or something. That would be pretty, uh, that would be pretty terrific. But of course, if we got the shovel, that would mean everybody got the shovel. So everybody would have been digging down. Assuming they made it into the boss rush. You gotta keep that in mind too. God, if we had something that was generating little guys... Infestation 2 in here against the brownie. Big old improvement. But, of course... With the amount of health I've got, I mean, yeah, I think... I think this might be a given result at this point. Now it's just a matter of trying to do it quickly and not taking damage. So I'm optimizing my boss rush approach, I guess. And that's really the only way I can improve my... My own position on the leaderboards at this point. That's- that's what kind of is unfortunate, is that once you get to this stage... You're like, alright, well... I've done literally all I can do apart from... Playing this boss rush perfectly, so... What's done is done. There are no more alterations to be made. The run is essentially complete. Still though... That added challenge... I'm gonna stay pure and clean, damage-free. I think we've got like three or four ma- well, yeah, three or four more waves left as well. So we're closing in. Small rock pickup was nice too. We did get a lot of damage. I, I, I'm always asking for damage, but we did get quite a bit of it. Quite a bit of it this time. That I am happy about. Come on, buddy. I say that as I'm taking a year and a half to kill Gish. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this would've been perfect if I remembered to set that up. Damn. Yeah, that would've been really good. 
I like the changes to the boss rush again, but it is weird that they go in the order they do sometimes. Like, I, I would not expect Dingle to proceed... Or no, not, not to proceed, but to be accompanied by, uh... I think that was Gemini, right? Trevor is the one that we cannot attack this counterpart of. I suppose they're all kind of arbitrary, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting so used to the the combos found within the initial boss rush that anything else looks a little foreign. That's entirely possible. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see him. Son of a bitch, was that like the first hit we took? Oh, that's silly. I don't know where all that stuff came from. That's a nice little score bonus as well. I do have to remember to pop the hero font before the end of the run in order to uh, benefit from the extra spirit heart pickups. If it is indeed possible. Oh, we got a golden heart. That's where all that stuff came from. That's right. That's right. Man, this is a long one, isn't it? Taking a little while here. Finn's just about dead. There we go. And multi-dimensional baby wins the day again. Little horn, holy shit. There's so many of them. We should blow up all these rocks as well. Oh, we got a glitch nickel, damn it. That would have been nice. This one is bad trip, okay, no good. Come on, buddy. We know it's over. You're just prolonging the inevitable, my friend. You are adorable, but we gotta finish this off, okay? There you go. There it is. Okay, rosary, so... I don't think we take that. In fact, I think we're done, yeah. Go ahead and pop that, grab those extra points. And we're out of here. 20,128. The score ends up being 508th on the overall leaderboard. Let's have a quick look at this. There's me. That's not too bad. 509th. That might be one of my highest placings, actually. Let's go ahead and look at the global friends leaderboard. Ooh, Santa up there with that 137. Well done. Previous days, we're looking at, I think it was Monday, yeah, that was 1103 that we ended up off. 509 might very well be my best placement thus far, huh? Yeah, if we're going back that far, that obviously was not <laughs> very good. I think that might have been the daily that I uh, failed to capture in the video, but... All the same, thank you very much for watching this episode of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Daily Challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.